Andre Carpathy, one of the co-founders of OpenAI, super smart guy and a very good educator, does great YouTube videos. Uh, he posted up this a few days ago, which was somebody had taken photos of an exam paper and Nano Banana Pro filled in the exam paper with more or less correct answers for chemistry and physics. What's impressive is Nano Banana is not just generating images. Nano Banana is reading this exam paper. It is then putting that information, the visual information that is gleaned, into the reasoning model, Gemini 3, using that to answer the questions based on routing that back to the image model to generate a filled in paper. The paper itself has workings out, simulated like what a student would write on the paper if they were working things out and little doodles and sketches. It's so impressive because they combined their image model with their reasoning model. Previously, you would specify exactly what you wanted to the image models. Nano Banana Pro does all of that behind the scenes, which is impressive. They've updated Notebook LM, which is underused, still bad at UX. Yesterday I generated this. They now use Nano Banana to produce slides. I said I want a slide deck about transformer architecture. It generated pages planning the content and generating the image, which is impressive. It's created a whole slide deck step by step based off one prompt. Visual intelligence is now a solved problem better than most humans. I don't think that's been fully appreciated yet. I was at a Google event yesterday talking to some people from Google. Even they are surprised how good Nano Banana Pro is. Everyone was shocked. Nano Banana Pro is from last week. Absolutely game changing. Gemini 3 is good. I prefer the Claude models. Nano Banana Pro is phenomenal. Timothy says, I love Notebook LM. Mook says, the podcasts are cool. Notebook LM. It is based on Gemini 3. It's based on Nano Banana Pro, but it's basically a tool where you can feed it sources, PDF files or books, websites, YouTube videos, because it's Google, it can read YouTube videos. It will pull all that information in, allow you to chat to that information and it will all be sourced, but it also has something called Studio, which allows you to produce audio podcasts, a video, mind maps, a report, an executive briefing, flashcards, a quiz, infographics, and slide decks. Really cool if you're trying to learn something. Not enough people know about it, but it's one of their killer applications. I also created videos, and this might be small, but... We're all seeing it, right? The AI revolution is in full swing. It's writing emails, creating stunning images, changing the world. This is about transformer models. All of this is available in Notebook.